What is up, guys? It's your boy Jalen here, and as you already know, it's time for another one. It's time for another freaking video. Yes, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to this channel, welcome. It's always a pleasure to have you. It's always a pleasure to have new people over here on this channel. I'm trying to get this channel to like a thousand subscribers. I'm at 800 and something at the moment. So since you guys are here, if you guys are new, just go ahead, smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up like comment share the whole hoopla tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to tell their grandparents to tell their parents to tell their uncles their aunties their sisters their nephews their power auntie and daughter child boyfriends girlfriends and all in between to come to this um channel and like just like and subscribe yeah you guys get the point um <laughs> This video, as you guys can already tell, is going to be a very different video compared to other videos I've done on this channel. I'm going to be speaking in dialect, but my dialect, if you guys know what dialect is, look it up because I'm not about to explain what dialect is. If you guys <laughs> are used to being on my channel, then you know what my videos are like. So just based on this intro, you guys already can tell this video is very different. Yeah, so this entire video is going to be in dialect. Now, that basically means that I'm not going to be speaking proper English, like the English that I'm constantly speaking, I'm going to be speaking how we speak where I'm from, basically, because everywhere has their own slang, their own way of speaking, you know? So that's what I'm basically going to be doing in this video. Now, this video is going to basically be, I'm saying basically a lot, what the hell is wrong? That is one of my favorite words, by the way, basically. So if you guys are saying basically a lot, basically, it's because I like that word. Yes, yeah, okay. Now what I basically wanted to do is come and talk to you guys about certain challenges or obstacles that you can maybe expect if you're a new YouTuber or if you are thinking about becoming a YouTuber because we look at people on YouTube, right? We always see YouTubers on YouTube and all their videos look crystal clear, perfect, content on point, you know, editing down to the T, everything looks professional and shit, right? But what about the people who are trying to start their own YouTube channel and maybe don't have the professional cameras or professional lighting and all they have is a cell phone and um, they have, you know, no light that they can use at night time, like they don't know how to create content, they don't know how to get their videos up and to get the videos out there. What about those people? Because I am fortunate to have 800 and something subscribers. I have no idea how the hell I got to 800 and something subscribers because when I started my YouTube channel, trust me, I had, like I would never think in a million years that I would even get past 50 subscribers because I just created my YouTube channel for fun, like just to be able to upload videos of me doing stupidness, like utter nonsense of like creating my YouTube channel for an outlet to express myself. But then as time was going by and stuff, you check, as time was going by, I realized like, hey, YouTube could be something that I could actually make money off of, right? And then that's where your creativity dies because a lot of people who started YouTube for fun are now into YouTube to make money. They are now into YouTube so their channel can become monetized, right? And they can get sponsorship and they can basically blow up, right? They, they're in it for money. So then they stop being creative and it becomes all about money. It becomes too professional. It becomes too... Like it's no longer relatable. Everything they're doing is too perfect. So called perfect, right? And that's what I don't want my YouTube channel to be like. That's what I've already, that's why I've already told you guys in the past that I upload when I feel like uploading. I upload when I get inspired. And if you guys go to me uploading for a while, then that is because I don't feel like uploading and that's how it should be, okay? YouTube has it in a, a place where even you guys, like the subscribers, expect the people you follow to be like robots and upload every day, every day, every day, like clockwork. Not realizing that these people have a life of their own. They're normal people just like you. They have problems in their personal lives just like us, okay? YouTubers are normal people. They're not aliens, even if they come off as aliens, Jeffree Star. Even if they come off, no shit. Even if they come off as aliens, right? They're not. They're normal human beings and they have problems. They have bills to pay. They have they have like normal problems that normal human beings face. Okay, and 
I do it as well. Like YouTubers, like I, I subscribe to and I follow and I love and I look at all their videos. Like I get really pissed sometimes. I get annoyed when like maybe an entire week goes by and they haven't uploaded anything, right? But I understand because as a creator, as a content creator, sometimes you get writer's block, sometimes your creativity is not there, sometimes you just don't feel inspired, sometimes you don't feel top of shit, sometimes you just motivate to yourself. That, that's normal, okay? And if you're not a YouTuber and you know someone who puts content out there, then you might not understand that. But YouTubers are human beings, they go through shit. Now, let's get back to another topic now. If you're trying to start a YouTube channel, some of the things that they don't tell you, okay? Especially if you're trying to start a YouTube to make money, okay? So we're referring to people who are actually trying to start a YouTube channel and expect to their channel to like blow up in a couple of days. That happens for some people, but it doesn't happen for everyone. Some people think as soon as they start their YouTube channel, it's gonna blow up, they post a bunch of videos, it's gonna go viral, and they're gonna be the next big, you know, YouTuber. That's not how it works. For some people it works that way, they post maybe one, two videos and then their shit just takes off. It's posting at the right time, posting to the right audience. There's a lot that happens within YouTube that like YouTube has freaking maths to it. Believe it or not, there's like algorithms and algebra and geometry and trigonometry and calculus and all that shit goes into YouTube and figuring out YouTube and knowing how to post, when to post, where to post, why to post, to whom to post, you know? But I'm not about that life. I'm not about to go and try to figure out what specific times exactly I should post and all those algorithms and shit. I'm not about that. I want to post when I want to post. Who sees my videos? Sees my videos. Who don't see my videos? Don't see my videos. It is what it is. Okay? So if you're like me and you just want to post shit, when you feel like posting shit, how you feel like posting shit, then fine. Right? You can go ahead and do that. But if you're looking to make YouTube into a business and to make like your channel become monetized and you can actually make money off of your content then there are a lot there are a lot of guidelines that you, you're gonna have to follow and then that's where some people lose creativity because <clears throat> there there's copyright like if you want sponsorship you're going to have to act a certain way you're going to have to change a lot of things oh, sorry your channel is basically going to have to be Kid friendly, family friendly, because sponsors, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for channels that are squeaky clean. And if you're not the squeaky clean type of person and you just want to be free and wild and just post whatever you feel like posting and just basically be your authentic self, then monetization might not be for you. Okay? If you just want to be free, like me, and post what you want to post when you want to post, then by all means, all you're gonna need is something to record your videos on, okay? Obviously, not everyone has the um, financial means of, you know, getting like the, the, the professional cameras and the um, um, lighting and the backgrounds and the green screens and all that. Not everyone can do that, but if you have a cell phone that actually records well, it doesn't even necessarily have to be an iPhone, as long as you have a phone that can basically record the videos, um, it has sound and everything, and can actually make your videos on there, then that's all you basically need. If you don't have lighting, try recording during the day. It really isn't that hard to start your YouTube channel or to create content. As long as you have something to record on, you use your cell phone, record during the day, then editing is another thing. Not everyone can edit. If you want your videos to be professional looking, then you're gonna have to try to learn how to edit or get someone who can edit for you. There are many apps out there that make editing very easy. You can look in your Play Store. I'm not about to go and tell you what exactly to look for because right now that, that's not what's on my mind. There are many videos out there. You can Google the shit. Okay, find apps, find tools to help you edit your shit I'm not about that this is not about this video but I'm not gonna give you all the information we're talking in general but um yeah there are apps and tools out there that you can use to edit okay apart from that not everyone edits their shit so you can just make your video upload them to YouTube boom bam to key and ham yeah 
but don't expect your videos to go viral don't expect your videos to you know don't post it for those reasons because you're gonna be very depressed when that doesn't happen you're not gonna feel inspired to continue doing shit if you realize no one is actually subscribing to your channel because look at me it took me years and i'm still at 800 and something there are people it's taken years and their channel still hasn't even gotten 10 subscribers but it's taken me literally years i think i started my youtube channel when i was in high school i've left high school many many years ago okay and um yeah i'm still at a thousand subscribers so it literally takes years sometimes for your subscribers to actually build up so if you're expecting to just create a youtube channel and then for you to just blow up that doesn't happen for everybody okay it happens for some people not all all right another thing is just be yourself be your authentic self a lot of people feel to be like a lot of people feel like they're being pressured into having to always post what's trending i mean that helps as well trying to stay up with the trends trying to stay up with what everyone else is doing on youtube that makes it makes you relevant but not everyone a certain time that takes away from your creativity because you're always going to have to stay up on the trends and before like a new thing happens everybody else on youtube have already seen mid reaction videos and shit doing it and then you feel like well everywhere everybody else has already done it doesn't make sense i do it again and then that's when you start losing your inspiration and all that good shit just post what you want to post simple as that don't feel pressured into trying to post like the content that everybody else is doing be unique post things that you love post things that makes you happy and then people who actually relate to you and like the things that you like will gravitate to your channel don't try to be like everybody else that doesn't make any sense it doesn't make sense be yourself post what you feel like posting and people actually like the stuff you post will subscribe to you to channel it's that simple okay i mean it helps if you have a target market if you know exactly who you're trying to win over as your subscribers then you can do that but at the end of the day your youtube channel should be a place where you're happy with your content where you're proud of whatever you post and you shouldn't feel pressured into having to fit in stand out okay um this video is already what 12 minutes and something and i didn't intend for it to be that long so um yeah once again this video is sponsored by oreos <laughs> I wish. but um yeah that's what i just basically want to come to talk to you guys about i haven't uploaded a video in a long time and it's just because i don't know i just haven't felt inspired it's that simple but um yeah this video i'm gonna numb it up i'm gonna munch on some oh i didn't show you guys what i was eating so i'm eating Cream between us. Cream between us. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep watching on my cream between us. This is basically the end of the video. Um, I would say if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, but it wasn't really a video to enjoy in the first place. I just wanted to have a little chit chat with you guys. Um, but um, yeah, you can still give this video a thumbs up if you're not subscribed. Like I said, go ahead and do that because it really helps me a lot. And I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It really doesn't cost anything to subscribe to someone's channel. If you like their content, if you appreciate what they're doing, or you just like the person's personality, by all means, support people. I subscribe to YouTube channels I don't even know people. I just support for supporting sake. So um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, tell someone about my channel, you know, invite them to come over and um, I really do appreciate everyone who has subscribed because I'm not one of your regular regular YouTubers, I'm not one of those professional YouTubers, I just post things that make me happy and then people actually subscribe. <laughs> you guys are crazier than I am for subscribing, but I appreciate it and um, yeah, until my next one, keep it safe. There's love. I want to say keep it safe, I mean that guys, keep it safe, we're living in a crazy mob world okay trump is still president keep it safe there's love and all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys on the next one bye